international pastime. And uh, there were some uh, interesting images of food around, and uh, particularly this one here with the knife. And um, I was kind of looking at this poem that I wrote years ago and trying to work on it because I didn't really like it, but I was working on it. And it really had to do with like, I'm really bad in the kitchen, and uh, my wife always asked me to help her out. And I find it very frustrating because when I'm in the kitchen, I, I just don't like being in, in the kitchen. And I try to do things as quick as I can, and I really, I've hurt myself a lot of times. And, it, and my wife and I will be like, kind of almost, almost like, this is where we have battles. So I wrote this in that kind of, that metaphor. So it's called ki Kitchen Amnesty. Dear countertop swashbuckler, stop hurdling cherry tomatoes, spattering a scarlet blush. You Julian piles softly, yet my knives against the nape of your pears has ripened a stir. This enemy is busy reloading ammunition, forgetting to carry his measuring cups to battle. <laughs> Put down that blunt utensil, your serrated tone cuts deep. Nothing to go sound the alarm over undressed salad. The only breach on your cutting board are mutilated mushrooms. Don't hold celery hostage over this. I've white flagged my condescension, crushed croutons, rephrased conditions. Your geometry through glass bowls have blown a hole in my ship. Arousal has made an incision. I'm reshaping my strategy, ready to carve you artichoke hearts. So, I don't know where it's going with that. <laughs>